Continuing with that, the packaging of the DNA in eukaryotes. You know that already the length of the DNA in human beings that is 2.2 meter. Such a huge, the long, the DNA, how it is present? You know that the cell itself is microscopic and uh, the nucleus. It is always comparing like that. The cell is the stadium and the football is the nucleus. So like that, such the small nucleus, how it contains the this the 2.2 meter length DNA. So just imagine. So that now we are going to study how it is packed. How packed are they? Now study more. And this is the five mass question. Explain the packaging of the DNA in eukaryotic cells. In prokaryotic cells, we already completed. Even now eukaryotic cells, in the last video already I explained that the beginning is the first step is the histones. Histone is a basic protein. Basic protein of an amount and this histone is positively charged one. It is positively charged another, and this is rich in the amino acids, especially like lysine and arsenides. Amino acids, proteins are made by the amino acids, but in this year, the basically very rich in the, the amino acids like the lysine and the arsenide. These two amino acids are very rich in. Histones. Histones are very rich in the amino acids, and these contains these contains the positive charges in the side chains. Side chains are the positive charges for the amino acids, hence the histones becomes a positively charged one. Remember, the DNA is the negatively charged molecules. See, always attraction between the inner part and the this dissimilar charges. One is the positive, and another one is the negative. So I hope it is clear for you. Histone and continuing that eight histone molecules, yen two histone molecules, so combined together make an sphere. When the ball is there, see histones organized to form a group of eight molecules. So that is called as a histone octomer. Octomer, so that's octa is an eight. Eight histone molecules will combine another. So that is also look externally sphere like a structure. We are saying that it's called as a histone octoma. It is called histone octoma. In that, so just I have given. So it is not given in our textbook. See, H2 A molecules will be the way H2 B histone two B and H3 histone three and histone four. H2 pair will be in order to not die. So these combine together. Makes an sphere. We say this is called as a histone octoma. Remember, histone histones organized to form a group of eight molecules. So it is called as a histone octoma. Once you know the histone octoma, so the next step is the nucleosome. Monday na hatta nge barode nucleosome na hatta. We just see that here the structure. This is an histone octoma. This histone octoma is a wrapped by the DNA. DNA na kto na dikhega should call to the octoma again. So then now the structure is said to be nucleosome. Ega structure ke na thehel to anta na nucleosome anta na hoy ta hai tumi. So nucleosome anta ga ille DNA wrapped by the Yes, to base pairs for the summary of the wrap up to the other totally 200 base pairs uh, in one nucleosome. What the nucleosome that is yes, to base pairs for the wrap up to the DNA wrap up to the other 200 base pairs for the wrap up to the other. One more question is there always what is meant by the nucleosome? Nucleosome is the one, so DNA is a wrap around the Positively charged with histone octoma, the structure is called as a nucleosome. Our structure is called as a nucleosome. Remember, this nucleosome, the negatively charged, this nucleosome contains negatively charged DNA, 
is wrapped around the positively charged histone octomer. So we are saying that nucleosome. It is not nucleosome at that time. So example, sometimes for two months they are asking that uh, draw the structure of nucleosome. It is a very simple that in the new octomer again. Okay, histone octomer and wrapping over the DNA uh, wrapping. So this nucleo you know, uh, octomer, the DNA is wrapping. So then the structure is said to be nucleosome. It is not nucleosome at the kanta as a So each nucleosome contains about 200 base pairs of the uh, DNA helix. DNA helix are put on there. are no base pairs for the one the kanta that not that Just in a calculation. So you know that uh, how many base pairs are present in the human cells. That is 6.6 into 10 to 9. So this comes up to the diploid one. In the 10 to 9 base pairs, that means about 3.3 into 10 to 7 nucleosomes are present uh, in the diploid cell of human. Diploid cell of human, that is, so we are missing nucleosomes for the development of our health body. Calculation is not done. So this is about the nucleosome. Just remember this structure. DNA is an atom. This is the this one octomer. This one is the H1 histone. Okay, so then, in another way, you know, nucleosome then, so that nucleosome, 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 nucleosome. So, wrap it into that. So, when you wrap it in, you can actually wrap it in, you can wrap it in, wrap it in, wrap it in, wrap it in. So, then, if this makes like, this makes the thread like structure, or the thread like structure and information one type. This the thread like structure with nucleosomes, we say that it is called as a chromatin. And then now chromatin is not the same as the So then after the nucleosome, the next step is the chromatin. Chromatin is the one, there is a number of nucleosomes together form a structure called chromatin. Chromatin is not the same as the nucleosomes combined together makes a thread like structure. That structure is said to be chromatin. Chromatic formation and then so the nucleosomes just looks like beads on a string. Saradali, Muttina Hardali, Muttugala Hage, chromosomes, nucleosomes, so this structure is said to be chromatin. So this structure is said to be chromatin. This is the chromatin. Okay, then the next question is how chromatin is How chromatin is present? Chromatin whether it is a loosely arranged or it is tightly packed. Based on that, we are going to be saying that alle matte na chromatin na na enandre divide matra idhi. Okay? Adhi hai kya matra na na? As I already said that how this chromatin is coiled in the cell nucleus pada ga cell nucleus pada ga hai ki do chromatin no coil aage aage. As you know that uh, during uh, the cell division in the metaphase, this uh, chromatin coil and appears like a chromosome. Chromosome can start up to them. And we are always studying uh, the chromosomes in the metaphase phase only. And it is a visible as a chromosome. This that means the chromatin in cell division. Cell division is like a chromatin. No? E Chromosomes are visible after the now, not the whole time. So then, uh, during packaging of this chromatin, what are the nucleus for the packaging of the e chromatin? It also requires some additional set of proteins, not only the histones, even this also requires some additional proteins. So that are collectively called as non histone chromosomes. Histone chromosomes, so that means histone is a totally different. So we are saying that here non-histone chromosomal protein sometimes support the idea. Non-histone chromosomal proteins. Shortly we say that NHC. Uh, these proteins are also going to be helpful to pack the the D, uh, chromatin. Chromatin on a pack for the case, it will helpful after the nano not the idea. That means DNA pack. Then now so based on that, based on that, the chromatin are going to be classified. 
ಹೆಂಗ್ ಆಗ್ಯದ ಹೆಂಗ್ ಪೈಲಿಂಗ್ ಆಗ್ಯದ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಯಾಟಿಂಗ್ ವೆರಿ ಲೂಸ್ಲಿ ಪ್ಯಾಕ್ ಅಂದ್ರ ಹಿಂಗ ಬಿಡಿ ಬಿಡಿ ಆಗಿ ಪ್ಯಾಕ್ ಆಗಿತ್ತು ಅಂತಂದ್ರ ಸೊ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸೇಮ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಯು ಕ್ರೋಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಯು ಕ್ರೋಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಐ ಡಿಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇನ್ ಅನ್ನು ಕೊಟ್ರೆ ಅದು ಅಕ್ಕಿ ಕಂಪನಿ ವೆರಿ ಲೈಟ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಟೇನ್ ಸ್ಟೇನ್ ಬಹಳ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ಇದು ಲೂಸ್ ಆಗಿರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ರೋಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ ವೆರಿ ಆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಸಿಪೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಸಿಪೇಟ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಈ ರೆಪ್ಯುಟೇಶನ್ ಹಿಂಗೆಲ್ಲ ಆಗ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಸಂದರ್ಭಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಇದು ಕೋಡಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಸಂದರ್ಭಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಇದು ಆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಆಗಿ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಸಿಪೇಟ್ ಆಗುವುದನ್ನು ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ವಿ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಯು ಕ್ರೋಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ಹೆಟ್ರೋಕ್ರೋಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸೇಕ್ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಹೆಟ್ರೋಕ್ರೋಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ವಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಕ್ರೋಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ವೆರಿ ಡೆನ್ಸ್ಲಿ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ ಬಹಳ ಟೈಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಟೈಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ ಆಗಿರ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸೇಕ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಕಾಡ್ಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಹೆಟ್ರೋಕ್ರೋಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ಸೊ ಡೆನ್ಸ್ಲಿ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟೇಲ್ ವೆರಿ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ ಅದು ಡಾರ್ಕ್ ಆಗಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಗ್ತದೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸ್ಟೇನ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಡೆನ್ಸ್ಲಿ ಪ್ಯಾಕೇಜಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ ಇನ್ಆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಅದು ಇನ್ಆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಆಗಿರ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ರಿಮೇನ್ಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಆಸ್ ಎನ್ ಪ್ಯಾಸಿವ್ ಪ್ಯಾಸಿವ್ ಆಗಿ ಹಾಗೆ ಉಳ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದನ್ನು ನಾವು ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ವಿ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಎ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ಯಾಕ್ ದ ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಎ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ರೋಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ಸೊ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇವನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ರೋಮೋಸೋಮ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ಯಾಕ್ ಇನ್ಸೈಡ್ ದ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೋ ಈ ಒಂದು ವಿಡಿಯೋ ನಿಮಗೆ ಇಟ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ದ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಹೌ ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಎ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ inside the cell so remember that is an euchromatic and heterochromatic okay examination point of view sometimes they are asking that write the difference between the euchromatic and heterochromatic hagagi sal note koli so most important in the histone octomer andre enu histone andre enu nucleosome andre enu structure of nucleosome then chromatin andre enu then euchromatin andre enu heterochromatin andre enu ಇವೆಲ್ಲ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ಗಳು ಬರ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತವೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಎಲ್ಲವುಗಳನ್ನು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಆಗಿ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ವೈಸ್ ಟೆಂಪಲ್